Hello, hello everyone. Please excuse my voice. Uh, it seems like some other flu bag has caught me. Um, but uh, I've been missing more sprites. How have you been? How was your weekend? Uh, let me just find my... There we go. That's my... Oh, not live thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'll do it, you know. might mute from time to time just so you don't hear me coughing and blowing my nose oh i sound really bad i hear myself now on the stream i'm sorry <laughs> but this is this is chill i do a chill stream I'm not going to do the voices today. Uh, I'm just going to read plain. Uh, but yeah, let's let's continue. I just want to do the seasonal event. But for that, um, I need to get Laga far enough in the story. So that he could visit Gredania <clears throat> in order to do the seasonal event. So let's see if we can do that. Because I'm high enough level with my uh, Oculus. I know I said the next time I'll go to all the crafting stuff. But that's going to be a bit tall. It's a, that's going to be a big, bit of a bigger stream. Uh, let's go. Oh wait, I can teleport there. What am I doing? Sorry, let me just do something. I'm just gonna put you on the screen. The sound is coming through the TV. Oh no, it's actually coming through the... Uh, there we go. Was coming through the uh, PS5 controller. It's so weird of uh, to think of the controller as a speaker. Yes, I'm Rainer, and you must be the adventurer whose name seems to be on everyone's lips. You are to be commended for your part in thwarting them plot to destroy the victory. Now, what can I do for you this day? You bear urgent message from Badaron? Why do I get the feeling that my hopes for a quiet afternoon is about to be cruelly dashed? Tell me, what is afoot? You know, this is a young guild master. An assault on Swift Birch. But we've seen nothing to suggest that the servant reapers are massing for an attack. 
Even so, it would be foolish to discount the possibility. Later on, it's really wrong about such matters. I will marshal the Yellow Jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. While I concur with Baderon's assessment that the attack on Dry Docks was intended as a diversion, Cliff Birch is but one of several possible targets for the main thrust. Camera, sir. Report. It's the Sargon, sir. They've mounted on a large scale assault on South Titan and threatened to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate re reinforcements by the navigator. It seems my decision has been made for me. Muster the troops and give the order to march. I, the Serpent Rivers are in league with the Sahagan. <clears throat> which means that every chance this assault on the tide gate will yet prove to be another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can ill afford to ignore it, and that leaves Swift Birch vulnerable to those pirate traitors. It is at times such as these I wish the warriors of light yet walk among us, but wishes will avail us not, Morpheus. You shall serve in their absence. Make for swift birch with all haste and lend your strength to the squads I can spare for the settlement's defense. Too far. If I had my chocobo already, that would be okay. The raiders sent word we'd be getting reinforcements, but I didn't expect them to send you. You certainly look like you've seen your share of action, though. You bear little resemblance to the wide-eyed whelp I've made fresh off the ferry. In any case, do you know what you're fighting here? Uh, fighting here, this place, Swift Birch, was rebuilt by folk who stood strong in the face of every hardship the calamity threw in their way. And we're not the only we're not going about to let some fishy fish fancying scum claim the honor of being the ones who finally broke their spirits. Don't give those pirate bosses one bloody ill you hear me? Yeah, they come. You know, I thought all the yellow jacket worms was meant to be busy. That useless scrag ain't follow the plan, is he? Now what? To pull back and wait for some Sir Hagen brothers? Piss on that. We ain't turning back empty handed. Remember, no killing the small folk, or it'll be your blood that stains Lord Leviathan's altars. The yellow bellies, you can put you at will. Them dirt-eating slugs will be crushed under the full might of the Serpent Reavers. Serpent Reavers. Team Swift Birch was the main target after all, right? What? Why don't you protect the console? It's got three. You're a real gods. 
Both of you. Meet the large where you stand. Let's bear the criminal word of our victory. Or no word at all. Salam Salamansa. Yeah, I'll get all you yellow bellies and dance on your gazettes. Oh yeah. Okay. I didn't focus on the right thing. I'm not going to so much. 
Well fought. The reavers are beaten and scattered. I'll take some men and hunt down the stragglers. Oh, but there may be more of them looking about, so don't let down your guard just yet. source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. What on earth? A mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss. My thrall to command that it may smite mine enemies. <laughs> Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Only send the lesser gargoyle my way. Who do you think I am? Some newbie? Wind springs his natural ruin. The nature uh, might, sorry. Welcome, you stole her. You can see the end of the battle. Sorry, I'm a bit under the weather today, but welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for popping by. Guys, I and you did. Uh, no, no, I didn't. She took full damage. I think I'm winning. I love that kiss emote, that's awesome. Uh, 
that mask wisdom of Paragon should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons, did he say? Then it is as I feared. They are known as the bringers of chaos, or Essians, to give them their proper name. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Some blue bug got hold of me. And at the end of the weekend as well, so now, while I was supposed to use the weekend to heal, now I'm going into the week sick. That's just lovely. It would seem our suspicions were correct. In this day we have been manipulating the beast tribes. Pardon? Yeah, how are you doing though, the, the leeway? You would not um. Oh no, he does. He treats me very well. Looks after me. Like the best patient, <laughs> like the best nurse. <laughs> But, uh, but this was not allowed. This was uh, that's so weird. This was a uh, was a. Uh, uh, Blocked for being a sex word. He does every day. He's a sweetie. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. I don't understand the... I don't understand the mod sometimes. They, what was the other thing that they blocked one time? LMAO. But it's probably like if you write it out, it's going to say laughing my ass off. Um, and then there was something else. What was it? Um, can't remember but sometimes they are blocking weird words yeah I think it's on most streams like it's for moderate um, moderation but I had to allow that He's on the forehead. I had to allow that because it said it contained sex words. I mean, kiss is not a sex word. Pardon? You would know if we surely had have encountered Eschids before. I have never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know whence I hail? Wait, I do begin to see. You have been blessed with a special gift. Are you alright, lad? I'd known a mean bug like that was hiding in the bushes. I would have left a squad of six to keep you company. Oh. Now we can call this kidnapping investigation to a close. Those Reavers are the ones spriting the folk away in the dead of the night. And this bastard here was pulling the strings. It's trifle simplistic, but not inaccurate. I came as soon as I sensed his presence, but I never thought to find such a scene of carnage. 
Yet we prevailed, and thanks to your heroic actions, I have learned so much. Aye, heroic is the word. I don't want to think about what would have happened if you hadn't been here, friend. And your assistance is much appreciated too, Lady Stola. Please give your our regards to the Scions. I am glad to have played the role in bringing what I hope is an end to this, this disturbing spate of abductions. The threat of your fo fate forms a part of the most intriguing tapestry. Perhaps we can be afforded the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray send my greetings to Commodore Rayner. That thing looks toxic. I know I have to go back to them, sir. Gonna mute the kid, sorry. Yeah, metallic's the best. <clears throat> but he also knows that I don't like to be faffed over. Morpheus, eagerly have I awaited your return. Word of your exploits have already started spreading through the ranks. My troops and I owe you a great debt of gratitude for your timely assistance. You have shown yourself to be possessed of a sure arm, strong spirit and a sound judgment. Would that Limsa Lamunsa had more like you. I have little doubt that you shall one day join ranks of Eorzea's greatest adventurers, but it, it is but a matter of time. Oh, I'm just here doing some Oh, nice. I hope, I hope he pays you f even though he's your old boss. Yeah, <laughs> like Metallic said. You the man. Yeah. Metallic and I have uh, same wavelength. Clearly, Badaron's eye for potential remains as sharp as ever, though I doubt he even even he imagined you so capable of such feat. Uh, might you favor me with your own account of today's events? Such victories bear retelling. Lola has been working with us for quite some time, you see. And 
she was only too willing to assist the Yellow Jackets in the kidnapping investigation, proving herself a stalwart ally of Limsa Lominsa yet again. Needless to say, after you parted in thwarting, after you in part, your part in thwarting the attempt at sabotage of the victory, and the small matter of your deeds at Swiftbridge, you too have proven yourself a valued friend of the Thalasso Grassi. Admiral. I really like the look of Admiral um, Blufiswine. Like, she looks so stylish. May I present to you Admiral Blufiswine? So, this is the adventurer <laughs> I've been reading about in the field reports. <laughs> I am Melve Blufisfin, Admiral of Limsa Lominsa. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. A token of our gratitude? What worth is high regard without just reward after all? <laughs> Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Badaron and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer the man who foiled the Sahagin. Hmm. Oh, a seat at the feast. Oh, and don't be late. I wouldn't dare. Your fellow guests will be eager to take the measure of their newest hero, and some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal. That sounded like an invite and... Uh and the and the threat <laughs> in the same sentence everyone salutes except me oh my goodness now i don't have the thing again sure you understand just how unusual it is for the admiral to invite an adventurer to a state banquet it is highly coveted honor why even the officers under her direct command are rarely afforded such a recognition but i will not deny you have earned it many of the tasks you have performed in service of the lassocracy the lassocracy have been both difficult and dangerous this is a reward for all your efforts and a nod of your many achievements, both large and small. As the enormity of this moment yet sing yet to sing in, the chance you will realize the significance when you stand before the assembled dignitaries of Limsa Lamensa. And now that I have imagined the scene, I realize that you will require some suitable some attire suitable for the occasion. I suggest you visit the, the Winch and see what Badron can arrange. He is surprisingly knowledgeable about such things. Okay, let's just see this ring.
Why is it all again? I don't understand. It was on and then it was off. It'd <coughs> be getting hot, how close to the, the intercity transport now. I think after the banquet. Well, well, if it ain't Melwip's quest of honor. Hobnobbing with the high and mighty now, is it? I tell you, lad, I'm a damn near snorted ale out of me nose when I heard the news. You come a long bloody way, you have, and that's the truth. Or well, one thing's for sure. You not want, you'll not want for decent grub. These banquets are catered by the bleeding Bismarck, no less. This grand chance to fill your belly, bursting with fine and, more importantly, free food. But you can't have, what you can't have, you're turning up in your shack <laughs> adventuring gear. No, the hero of the hour needs to have a touch of refinement about him. If only to stop the foe complaining when he stuffs his face with cake. Take yourself over to the octant and speak with Yasunum. The Bruguer Consortium. She'll furnish you with some gentlemanly wear. I've already had a word with her, so all you need to do is pick up the goods and then bring them back here so I can tell you what's what. Alrighty then. I think I can figure out what is a shirt and what is pants and what is shoes i'm not a, the type of person who would put shoes on my hands and pants on my legs uh, on my arms oh, wait. Hey Rose Ruby, thank you for the look. Oh, you sweetie. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And thank you for the follow as well. Oh, good evening, sir. I assume you're the underdressed gentleman Baderon mentioned. Hmm, I see what he, he was not exaggerating. I've chosen these especially for you. For your debut in polite society. Fear not, I'm certain you will absolutely adore them.
So I am replaying Final Fantasy from the start uh, on a North American server so that I can uh, join in uh, Rage and Dungeons and so forth with the amazing friends we've made uh, that play Final Fantasy on the North American server and also I want to redo the story so that I can show off crafting and gathering from the start because my crafter and gatherers are at level 90 on my main account so um, I could have done it on the EU server but I thought uh, let's make a a North American account um, so now I'm just kind of rushing a bit through the main story um, just so that I can get to the intertown transport to get to Gradania so that I can do the story quest of uh, the seasonal quest so that I can get the carbuncle outfit Yeah, this is my alt. My my main is a level um uh, my main is a level ninety red mage and omnicrafter um on on the UA uh, EU servers. This one is um, Summoner, because they've changed, well, Arcadist for now, um, but I'm going to go Summoner, because I've changed Summoner so much I don't know how to play Summoner anymore, so I'm actually doing this in a way to relearn Summoner. Thank you. Been to see Yesnam, have you? Let's have the box then. There we go. A nice pair of dress shoes for you. Look, might have have much else to his name, but so long as he's got a decent pair of shoes on his feet, there's no, there ain't no way he can't go. Think of him as a gift for me and all the other folks you've done right by all along the way. Aye, aye, it's very moving, Jester, I know. Just don't go welling up on me, eh? Wouldn't do for Limsa's new hero to turn up at the banquet, soaked in its own tears and snot. Anyway, your garb sorted. Now we just need to get to set on your nerves. So all I needed was shoes? You say, like, the only part of my garb that was bad was my shoes? Uh, tell me when you're ready and I'll tell you where you're meant to go. Uh, Summoner is so easy now, in my opinion. It's close to Dancer where you mainly click the shiny buttons. <laughs> okay. Really then are you? The banquet will be starting soon. If you've waited any longer, I would consider it be civic duty to hit you over the head and drag you there. Now make sure you're wearing them fancy shoes when you turn up alright. Carrying them will do you no good. They're meant to make you look like a gentleman. Remember, not a gentleman's bleeding lackey. Enjoy your look. Hope you enjoy the job. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. But thanks, Rose Ruby. Oh. Hmm? As for the directions, the fee is being held on the bridge, the Admiral's briefing room. 
speak with Zentail in the Bulwark Hall, he'll show you the wall. Just keep your head high, head held high, lad. After everything you've done for Limsa, you've got good reason to be proud. And don't let no highborn bugger tell you different. Literally, that's all they wanted me to change? Okay. Someone's playing beautifully, where is it? These people are so amazing arranging these things. Most of them are grand masters of the hand. Interesting. Hi, Killer Brent. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Um, what you do? Uh, uh -huh. I kill. Okay, no worries. That's good, that's good. How was your stream? My accuracy is so bad. Last night? That's morning, I don't know what time zone for you. Was last night for me? Hold on a second. Did I'm alive? Okay, I just check in chat just in case. Ow! That's not good. Dress shoes, fancy dress shoes, an adventurer wearing fancy dress shoes. Oh, now those are some fancy dress shoes. <laughs> Come adventurer, I will show you to the briefing room. Is that all you care about? 
but uh, he's 34 yeah uh, so an hour ahead so like old oh no Brothers and sisters of the sea. Join me now in honoring this man for his services to our great nation. May the navigator guide and protect him on his journey till sea swallows all. Do one life so there is more stuff going. Okay. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate enough to cross their path. I need not tell you the depth of the animosity between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. So this is RPG online games. Yeah, this is an MMO, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so I'm starting the story from over. Uh, I have my main character on the on a european server but i'm starting a new character on the north american server to have one on a north american server and to redo the story to refresh my memory this is the early part i'm level 20 but i'm doing level 15 story quest now What? I was simply going to ask for a teeny uh, tiny glass a, a of water. Kill. Oh, on the stretch. Thank you so much. But, thanks to you, our citizens may once more go about their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. This is one of the crystals of light. By the navigator. After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not? Of a towering crystal. You bathed in her light. Yashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the Mother Crystal. Your description matches what little we know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations, as once did the deeds of the Warriors of Light. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands, yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primals. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the Grand Companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners. Ooh, a a bean. Thanks for the bean kill. It was on that day in the midst of that hell, that we lost them. 
Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. <laughs> that was from my because I streamed all the Harry Potter games in my first streams. So and the people uh, really enjoyed the beans um comments. So that's why I made the beans redeems. Ooh, a bean! I don't see the animation though. I just see something. Sorry. Um, take a photo. Refresh. Let me just double check. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, that seems to work. Sorry, I'm still very bad with the animation of the stuff, so I'm learning still. Whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught <laughs> but their shadows appear to us, set against a blinding light. Ask any true Eorzean who knew them, and the story will be the same. It is for this reason that we call them the Warriors of Light. Let me show you this one. There's four color beans. That silver one was supposed to be green. But because I use a green screen to do the animation, the green bean looks silver. So I changed it to a silver bean. Um, and then there's this one. Ooh, a bean! I'll do this one for you. Ooh, a bean! You know, there's nothing like beans. Will you stop going on about beans, Ron? When I look upon you, I cannot help but be reminded of them. Keep that crystal safe. In time, <coughs> I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer. For it is Heidelin herself who speaks. Did it work? Yeah, there it goes.
yeah i just went a little bit crazy i found like sound clips for um my little pony um like voice clips <laughs> thanks um but yeah the my little pony ones are just like very funny because i know where they come from so the that's why i have so many my little pony ones victory belongs to the bull so imperial horse you know we're made of. there's nothing like these will you stop going on about these bottles divert the barracudas bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives the yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Oh, that is horrible. Uh, this one's sound is a bit off with the, the animation. Is Artemis? No, it is nothing. <laughs> Bloody hells! How many points do I receive? <laughs> won't go down so easily. Well, you I receive forward. all the points, Kill. We are being watched. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind. They're there for the. Ooh, <laughs> sounds scary. Tell us more. <laughs> They're there for you, the guys, to enjoy. Raging bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond. Respond, Shadow. But that doesn't answer my question, silly. <laughs> This is Raging Bull. What news? Why does he sink down on his knees to use the link shell? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! TLC is in tender loving care or totally lost cause? I definitely totally lost cause for me. Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Snake! Damn it! Damn I am it so frustrated I could just scream! <gasps> What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. 
Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, when I stop, I just spam redeems it. <laughs> Fine, kill. As long as you enjoy it. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Ooh, Louis Swa. A bean! You know, there's nothing a wrong. Bean. Will you stop going on about beans, God? A bean! I think they overlapped a bit. Ooh, a bee. Mm -hmm. There's a yellow bean. I think that's a blue bean. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. <laughs> I don't care about you like them. Are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Ooh, a bee! This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I tried my best with them. We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Kazba Mool, so any noise don't rule. Logalo, Asawad Deken, Ben. Imarat way, kis katoga hat. Sees me again, fees don the only lamb rides a die dawn. Oh, sorry, I forgot they speak in a different language. It has begun. Soon the planet will regain its true form. Morning sunshine. All a bit much for you, was it? What happened? Ah, uh, you don't remember much then, yeah. 
Oh, I'm glad I could do that. He keeled over in the middle of the banquet and caused quite a stir. I had to carry her back to the wench myself. When I say carry, it was more a matter of rolling and dragging and rolling. Too much cake, I reckon. Any road, don't fret. It's little wonder you were exhausted after everything you've been through lately. Your little nap seems to have put some colour back in your cheeks. Oh, uh, I'll have... I'll leave you to it. Bugger, I almost forgot. The Admiral wants to have a word with you. When you feel up to it, talk to Xanthiel and he'll let you into the command room. Oh, and stay awake. I'm told old Millwood was in the middle of telling you a story when you started snoring last time. And I doubt she'll look kindly if you repeated the trick. Oh, enjoy your walk with your dog. Thanks for the look. Run the wrong way. This way. Maybe I can get to this. Wait, Ms. Logger. <coughs> Admiral Bluffus Wayne. Wait you in the command room. Shall I announce you? Yes, please. Be my respects first, and then talk. Ah, oh, Lago, it's good to see you on your feet again. You are recovered. Then let us waste no time. <clears throat> I have a task that needs doing. One I wouldn't trust to no other. The duty I have in mind for you requires some explanation. I do hope you have made not made any other plans. The business then. I have penned the letter to my counterparts in the Eulzian Alliance. The Baroque of Gartino and the calamity that followed from countless lives. It has been five years since those of us who were spared dragged themselves from the ashes to look upon an Eulzia we scarcely knew. Five years, and yet the people still suffer. Their lives are fraught with worry and hardship, and the warriors of light who might have once given them hope are gone. 
yet we must press on regardless. We do, we truly do so, however, till we have faced our past. To that end, I am proposing that a memorial service be held in each of the city-state on the fifth anniversary of the Battle of Cartineau. These letters contain the details of said proposals. And I would have you deliver them to our allies as my personal envoy. You have proven yourself a staunch and capable ally to Lomans, Limsa. But that is not my only reason for choosing you. No, I choose you because you possess a quality which puts me in the mind of history's champions. A quality I feared loss. Say that you will perform this duty. I knew you would not disappoint me. The task shall take you far away from the borders of our nation, to the city-states of Credania and Ulda. Grueling journey, to be sure, were you to travel by sea and by land. But I mean to have you take to the skies. Isha Pass. To be used at your discretion. Airships bound for nation of our allies leave from the landing connected to the bridge. But before you depart, I suggest you travel better on for a few pearls of wisdom regarding each of your destinations. The old bastard, it's nothing if not a well, if not well traveled. It's a pity I cannot issue such passes with a freer hand as I did in more peaceful times when births were not so limited, but in these times of war, every crop we commit to the clouds restoring the eye of the empire, and every void must needs to be born of necessity. Lest you doubt, consider your place well deserved. Nor am I alone in that opinion. There were other parties who would see you granted the privilege of every travel. Aye, Lago, your deeds do not go unnoticed. Many, full many see a great promise in you, but I have flattered you enough. On behalf of Lim Salamansa and her people, I bet you go forth, adventure. Discover the realm for which so many have fought and died. Wonder and danger await you in equal measure, but turn not from either, only braving the unknown will you, will you achieve the great of which you are surely capable. The light of the crystal guides you, a wager your destiny will be no small thing. Oh, and Broken Rollers, thank you so much! Welcome, welcome! You guys are so awesome! I'm sorry, I'm a bit under the weather, so I sound really poopy. But thank you so much, I really appreciate the raid! You're most welcome! Um, how was your stream? Um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The Empire is most, most welcome here in the Wild Forest. You may come and relax if you have to take a break and go rest after your stream. I completely understand. Don't die, Emperor Raid. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, no, I won't die. I'm at least now in just, just cutscenes. But uh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, thank you for entrusting your audience to me. That's awesome. 
and yeah i'm just basically doing some story stuff just to get to a, a place where i can do the seasonal we place. came as soon as we heard oh thanks derpy hamster so that i can um do the seasonal quest which ends today i can't not have the tonberry suit <coughs> But I apologize for my my nasally voice and my coughing. The light of the crystal guides you, and I wager that destiny will be no small thing. Let me have some water, please. Hey, my mouth is very dry. My brain needs to rest. Um, no, of course, you go rest, Emperor. I know how it feels after a stream. Uh, but thank you very much um, for uh, for coming by. Um, oh, wait, where am I? Oh, I need to go to Badron first. Thank you for the look and enjoy your rest. Just do this. Sorry. And then do Nuts at a high price, stranger. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Uh, I'm okay, gonna go to the store later for look for some jeans for work. Oh, awesome. I hope you have a good time. <clears throat> Thank you for popping by, Ellie. I really appreciate it. Uh, back from the meeting with the Admiral, are you? Personal bleeding envoy? You'll be carrying word of the Admiral yourself to the leaders of the Alliance? Oh, I'm glad to have you here. Bugger me, I knew you was going up in the world, but I didn't realize you got that bloody high. Cause I got high. I'm proud of you, lad. Think of how far you've come. Because why it's just enough to bring me to tear, uh, a tear to me eye. <clears throat> and that ain't the ale talking either. Well, not just the ale, at any rate. Bless the navigator for steering you my, my way. <coughs> of course, this is only the start. Now you've got them, your hands on the airship pass. The whole of Aeorzea's land laid out before you. Like a fair maid on a feather bed. Um, Alright, I do not like that uh, analogy. What would you... What did he say for a female adventurer? I wonder.
and she's a big girl too with plenty of enticing nooks and crannies okay if you think after the winces our characters just wait until you cross paths with the grim forest dwellers of Gredania or the trade coins with the crafty merchants of Ulda and then there's the wild places where the beasties rule and no bugger with an ounce of sense sets foot but you're an adventurer so I won't let a little thing like that hold you back because it ain't all exploring and excitement there's a heap of trouble but plagues every nation see dangerous jaws oh sorry I'm talking intrigue inviting Beastmen and their gods and primals. Aye, it's an ugly side of life, and sooner or later you're bound to walk into it. But I'll wager there's a bugger all out there as soon as you. Uh, there's a bugger all out there as you can't handle. Someone tells me you're gonna be just fine. The realms had, had it rough enough. It's, uh, sorry, the realms had it rough. It's true. Folk are beginning to recover from the bleeding uh, calamity dealt them. The beating the calamity dealt them. Call me a hopeless optimist, but it wouldn't take much to turn things around. It's the perfect time. For adventure like yourself to get out there and make a difference. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Alright. Greetings, sir. This is the courier counter for passengers traveling to Gredania. Wait, aren't you that famous adventurer? It's Lagomorpheus, isn't it? I thought I'd recognize you. You are an inspiration to all of us. Sir, Highwind Skyways is at your disposal. Will you be traveling with us today? Yes. I'm so glad they first got to Gradania. <laughs> Attention all passengers. The airship bound for Gradania is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. Good fortune to your lager. The day will come when your name means the same as hero to the folk of this realm. 
May you walk in the light of the crystal. <laughs> okay, it's right off swart chocolate excel in my eye at all pro. Uh to get seen fifteen, okay. Uh we bonita. Hello, who can it swart? Okay, now so it's by the uh uh what is um the Empire Oh <laughs> it is okay. Oh It was 15 years, but he left the North Smoke Lysteard Star. 15 years, the other day, blew it. The Florida Wardana. Hulle gaan so'n bykie vind om om het alles te vertaal in Afrikaans. Ok. En wat nou? Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Eorzea, eh... Eh... Mm. It's sick. Uh, the Smeta Winnenkrijk. Uh, of. Wereld. Uh, Vol van valse goede. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. Dat is een. Dat heet nou al twee keer die. Um, I found it's an empire um, on fake. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the great sin, failed to yield us control over it. Sucks, <coughs> uh, Aldi. Um, uh, the scar of him, but it for us, rocket selves, uh, uh, commit the fruit, sonde, eat, um, the fall. For us, a beer to hear that word. And I think that's my two minutes. The realm has sunk deeper into depravity. I'm good, thanks. I'm just a bit sick. How are you, chocolate? It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balza. Yes, Ellie, such devastation.
Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at the Orsia? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. <laughs> yeah. Make a chicken <coughs> preparing for the salt. Yep. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Is that all you want? Is that the only one you want? Sorry, Metallic just brought me muffins. He's awesome. Ah, my, my lord! Please call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Hard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. I I don't know what you Silence. Your denials will not change your I assure you, Fumentarian sees all. Uh, uh. All right, bye bye. Clean up this mess and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland. Soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. Yep, budget Vegeta. That's why he's so angry. You must be the envoy from Linsa Lamensa. Welcome to Cardania, sir. The elder seats here awaits your arrival. Greetings, good sir. You are the Lamensa envoy, are you not? I have received instructions to assist you. Try and make your way into the city proper and identify yourself to the Codra at Novicus altar. She will admit you to the lotus stand while the older seats here awaits. I will do that as soon as I do the uh visual quest. Best city state music. Mm -hmm. 
Met hem bij de kaartwalker. Oh, it's at the arch skill to other. Oh, never mind. Yes, the season of course. The end. This side I can do it now. Yes. Greetings, friend, and a happy hatching tide to you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jahil Alipo. And I facilitate the annual Hatching Tide facilit uh, festivities. You are an adventurer, are you not? Might I ask for your name? Naga, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. In case you are unaware of the Hatching Tide festivities, we are, were conceived a number of years ago, after I was first visited by the 12 Archons in a stirring and prophetic dream, and I confess I have been dreaming ever since. Oh, I am most eager to share my latest dream with you. It was <clears throat> highly peculiar to say the least. You see, I beheld a vision of that chilling creature of legend, the Tonberry. My past experience taught me anything, it is that painstakingly recreating the, my dreams is sure to bring about good fortune. However, as Tonberries are naught but figures, pigments of old fables, I began to doubt whether I could bring justice to their ghastly appearance. But that all changed when this gentleman generously offered his assistance. Greetings, fine sir. My name is Hamlin, and I am what you might call a supreme connoisseur of an passionate aficionado of all things Thunberry. Thun As you may or may not be aware, Thunberries have heads as round and as adorable as any egg, which is why I believe we are the perfect addition to the hatching tide festivities. So I donned the superior mantle of a Dunbury and presented myself to Mr. Hill here. He. What luck, wouldn't you agree? Hamlin was kind enough to furnish our other volunteers with Tonberry guises, and we were all hard at work repairing the upcoming fun. And a lot of eggy, stabby, funny chubby. <laughs> exactly, that's the spirit of hatching time. Perhaps not the stabby part. 
Considering my dream, I think that these festivities present a rather unique opportunity to share the Todd Mary's charm with the world. But there is one problem. A group of souls have been making mischief throughout town, playing pranks and sabotaging the de decorations. <clears throat> Luckily, it seems more, a mere glance at the Thornberry form is enough to send those leafy brigands fleeing in terror. Is it not remarkable how such an adorable visage can strike fear into the hearts of some? Does not the contradiction of the Thornberry's nature invigorate your very soul? Our other volunteers are using their Thornberry guises to shoo away the souls as best they can, but we have, but we still found ourselves short-handed. I did didn't skip. Definitely didn't skip this at all. <laughs> um, shoo away the souls as best as we can, but we still found ourselves short-handed. Would you be willing to assist us longer? Yes, until the mischief is mitigated. Ah, uh, my sincerest thanks. Amran has prepared a plethora of guises for us, so I'm sure we will have one that fits you. Now then, let us commence with the most sacred of ceremonies. Come closer. Most we are continuing the Tomei guys in order to progress. Hide well what you want, then spring and make the walking one screech and jump. <laughs> this one can't wait. Did you just call me a what you want? Hey. Scary one, scary one is here. Flee, flee. It's a teeny weeny beanie. It's a teeny weeny beanie. It don't cover your ears, cause you still need to hear. It's a teeny weeny beanie. Have a bad hair day, but I don't have the time. Need to make it go away at the drop of a dime. I can't smooth it out, looks like I rolled out of bed. I want a hat right now, I can put on my head. It's a teeny weeny beanie. It's a teeny weeny beanie. If you don't got a comb, just put this on your dome. It's a teeny weeny beanie. Wear a teeny weeny beanie when I drink a dry martini. Yum. Wear a teeny weeny beanie while I eat some fettuccine. Yum. Wear a teeny weeny beanie while I play a tambourine. Fun. You know what I'd wish for if I had a genie? No. What? A teeny weeny beanie. <clears throat> Thanks for the redeem. Welcome in, Papa Wolf. Biggie Brainy Queenie. <laughs> oh. You are sweet, Papa. Thank you. 
What are you doing, Papa? I'd try it. Sounds interesting. This sounds like a good one. Yeah. Flavors I'm familiar with, I think it'd be okay. But if these <laughs> ones are naught, the elder the one will become a scolding the one. The JoJo character. <laughs> no one will know that these... It was these ones. Yeah, that'd Besides, be... Oh. It isn't that naughty. I yeah, one Just chuck some vodka in it, yep. Yeah. I think I'll be the you judge of that. You can see the that. bottom of the... That's just... That's just... Ah, please, this one doesn't mean any harm. Eek, sticky one, get away! One of these ones can't have fun with task ones. Walking ones can't have any fun either. Uh, this one will make sure of it. You can have fun with me. Hmm, monstrous one. This one. This is why the ones need task ones. Happy Monday, hope you had a pleasant weekend. I'm waking up and getting geared up for work. Someone needs to, to make a Star Wars reference. You're kind of tall for a ton, Barry. No. Well, apparently the ton berries we know aren't the real ton berries because they're cursed. So we don't know what the real ton berry looks like. According to this law. Trust you return from a job well done. I'm sure Miss Jahil would like to hear the particulars. You may relay your report after I relieve you of your outfit. No, Miss. Wait. Neat, I don't know that. About two minutes in Final Fantasy XIV. No one misses life, but... <laughs> oh, that's just what they say with this event, so... Uh, I'm glad to hear those souls fluttered back home. Thank you for all your help, Lago. Yes, you performed most admirably. Not only in deed, but in dress. Found me holding a ton, Mary, admiring that selfless acts of valor the citizens of Grenia are sure to have warmed to our adorable paragons of pointy justice, all according to plan. All our other volunteers are currently making the rounds and checking the rest of the decorations for any residual surprises. But I dare say we should be able to officially begin the celebration soon. All that's left is to wait for our Archon eggs to arrive from Ulda. I hope you remember the festivity. You enjoy the festivities. Something tells me this shall be a hatching tie to remember. We have a problem. Or not, or whatever is the matter. It's the eggs. To help the Archon eggs. The soul swarmed the serpent and it entered the central shroud and sapped the delivery moment into a frenzy. The caravan has been brought to a complete standstill. A 
it's only you to you. The chaos, the carnage, the eggs, a beautiful organ eggs scattered across the ground, still spilfering them like spriggans, and that smoking mammoth rampaging like an old goat possessed, the swear mayhem to hell. The souls presented no demands, offered no reason behind their rampant pillaging, but they kept squeaking about task ones. And no fear. And why should they? Why walking ones have all the fun? What do you suppose they meant? Uh, I heard Souls once held an annual spring festival, but there was an incident involving one of their fighting bulls. I believe that was the end of such festivities. I understand how it must pain them to see us cheerfully prepare for hatching tide. But those ill-gotten eggs won't ease their suffering. We must find a way to recover them. If I may be so bold, I believe I have the perfect solution for your conundrum. Logos essential Logos assistance will be crucial. However, you will lend us your aid, yes? You wish to lend your strength to my brilliant plan, do you? Very well. Our delivery mission is as follows. We must adorn ourselves in the guise of the Tonberry and scare the souls away from the fallen eggs. Ahem. It might seem like rather familiar tactic, but Terra cuts as sharply as a knife in the right hands. It does the power of the ton as does the power of the tonberry. We shall remind ourselves of what adorable horror lurks in the shadows. It is time to take the tonberry's naturally winsome and captivating visage and transform it into a mask of pure evil. Observe. <laughs> I suppose that makes sense, but what of the delivery moment? In its current panic state, it may easily make a mistake us for naught but common egg thieves, and perhaps not so common, considering the geysers. That's where Lagos participation is crucial. Even an overexcited automaton is no match for an adventurer versed in the arts of war warfare. Of course, I shan't be cruel to send you into battle as defenseless as a swaddled tongue, babe. You may, upon my, you may rely upon me to perform the necessary enhancements to, upon your guys that shall grant any stabby sweetheart the ability to withstand even the horses of electrified zaps. In theory, anyway. The midst of adversity lies opportunity as they say or rather in the midst of scattered archon eggs stands the noble tonberry and all my wa wa witness its triumphant glory very well let us proceed with hamlin's plan and see that our eggs are recovered safely Hmm, excellent. I shall commence the enhancement on the skies at once and have it ready for deployment in two flicks of a tonberry's blade. Lager, meet us where the bells of destiny toll. To arms.
And then I might take this optimist quest this well. Oh, wait, I don't. Oh no, this is not what to do. But this is somewhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, there I'm on left. What you have for me? Oh, one. Come oh, back to you. I'll just go to the middle of everything.
Sorry for the lag, the song. Oh, that's a lot of people. Everything from sprites to returning players to mentors.
Sorry, stream. It's now waiting game until this fight starts. Come on. The human call is better, but then I can't wear a hat. There we go, there we go. Hit that. Feels like I'm out of the things and then I'm in the things.
I've got gold. But I have to wait for another fight. Wait, <clears throat> I can't do it again until I take the quest. And here comes our hero now. Amon has just been regaling us with the tale of your valor, Lego. We can't take you enough for recovering those awkward eggs. Truly, from the bottom of our hearts and purses, thank you. My single regret is that no rapturous bystanders were present in those solitary woods to witness such valorous displays. Alas, the Tomberry's Majesty or once again past unknowledged, unacknowledged, yet such is often the way of the true goodness. The hero that works in secrecy for the betterment of all, my friends, their name is Tonberry. I found, I'm sure, I must say, Hamlin, your unflagging devotion to all things Tonberry is both remarkable and admirable. Admirable. I mean, pardon me. We were in those solitary woods and we saw what you did for us. Uh, what the Tonberries did for us. I was heartbroken when the soul snatched away the ark and egg that my friend gave had faith me. But thanks to you, it was retrieved safely. You Tonberries have my eternal thanks. I only wish I didn't, you didn't have to scare the soul so badly, the poor things. Is there no other way to deter the mischiefs? Indeed, consider this. We decorate our eggs with a Tonberry theme. The souls wouldn't dare snatch them or sabotage them. Dark green coat, the large on a large egg with two golden circles for eyes. Not bad, perhaps even cute. Well, perhaps this is what your dream for dog. Not just tonberry guises, but tonberry eggs and decorations as well. 
in which case we should send word to our Uldan goldsmiths that we would like another batch of Alcan eggs and some striking shades of Tonberry. Of course, all our eggs are packaged during transit, which means the cells will likely continue their mischief outside the city. I'm tempted to send a Tonberry with a guard with the caravan, but the road is long. The road from Ulda is far too long to tempt such a guys. We shall consider the possible alternatives, but in the meantime, should you happen to come across another way they took me, I hope you can count on your assistance. Uh, as Tonberry, of course. Well, seeing as our Arkan eggs have finally arrived, I dare say it's time to officially get cracking. Let the hatching tide festivities begin. I went down the wrong pathway. It's gonna end now. Uh, me and my bad um, sense of direction. Oh. 
this after work. Hmm. 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 I'm not leveling so much today as just doing the event before it ends. That's uh that's going okay. Um I um I did the event once so I've got the Tonberry suit. Now I just want to uh, do it again to get the orchestrian roll and the house item. Not that I know what I'm going to do with the house item. Because I'm probably not going to buy a house in this server. But just in case. Yeah, it's ending soon. Oh, yes, that's true. That's true. Could do that. Why you do this remote play? It goes grey.
What do I have for you? And the island stuff. Yes, I have. Not all of it. I've, I've, I am level 12, but I haven't captured all the, the rare animals. Because I always miss the, the right weather stuff. Um, or they're just too difficult to catch. Um... Yes. There we go, there we go. That sounds awesome, Ellie. Uh, I'm playing on PS5 with controller. I don't think this would run well on my on my laptop. And I started my free trial on, on PS4, so. I have to go and in. There we go, in again. This is a very interesting Jokobo with boarding.
Let's get this and grab at least something to. Thank you. All right. That is it. I just wanted to do this. Uh, I don't know. I tried it on console once, but since I played well for years, it didn't feel right for me to play an MMO. With <laughs> yeah, I played well very like only for like two or three months uh, when Vanilla came out again. Um, I played it with uh, Z-Man and some friends of his. And I just couldn't get into it. The community, the um, the what should I say? The uh, quests are very difficult to understand. I I can't sorry understand the 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 quest. Like it doesn't seem to have a story to follow. I just. I just went along with whatever we were supposed to do and it wasn't very fun it was basically just okay go here now go here now I don't understand why I'm doing it but okay we go here now and then when the horde starts griefing you because we were playing alliance <coughs> I could really annoyed me oh thanks sorry <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna log out on this. Um, so I know this was a short stream, but I literally just wanted to. I would have been on Z Man stream the whole time if it wasn't for the event. That I, I would have missed. So that's why I'm just here. Now I have to make sure that Z-Man's ready um, before I can raid out. So now I'm just on a chatting, so I'm just checking with him. No, 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 no. You, you get ready. Uh, I'll, I'll type the, well, uh, you could just say whatever you want, because basically we were planning couple stream today because it's a public holiday, so then we continue our, our couple streams normally. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting down and I'm resting. I'm gonna I'm gonna cough and sneeze if I lie down in bed or if I sit here, so might as well have some fun with Metallic and you guys. But at least now with the divinity I'm gonna talk less. So we're going over to his stream. <coughs> Oh, thank you, Ellie, for popping by. And I'm so glad you got a Kirby shirt. That sounds awesome. Like, I had a long sleep in this morning, like, longer than I normally do. So. You, your body gets tired like your body is normally sore from being sick like your your muscles get tender and from all the coughing you get sore so 
the longer you lie in bed, the more uncomfortable it actually becomes. But in, I'm sitting on a comfortable chair, and I'm taking it easy. Metallic's taking good care of me. So, I'm just chilling, basically, for now. So... <laughs> okay. No, it's okay. I can use the computer's mic. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull out my mic now. Um, then I'm going to use my computer's mic, which is not going to be great. But we're going to write out soon. So, uh, if you don't hear me well, thank you for being here. And hope I see you in my, my couple stream with Metallic. Mm -hmm. Okay, it picks up, okay. Alright, so I'm just waiting for him to get ready. Hello. 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 Okay. Okay. Testing on the side. Oh, thank you for the Linkle. That's really that's one of our cats. Linkle and the, and the other one is uh, Midna. Oh, thanks. I found like a, a chibi creator where you can make a cat. And like those were the closest I could make of all cats. Okay. Nico just sits on my thing and she cries. Oh no! Our cat wants to to, to type on the keyboard and breaks the keyboard. Should I start the screen? Um, okay, I am ready to write out. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to stop your well, list.
right now that can bring me the heat. It's a teeny weeny weeny. Like, it's a teeny It don't cover your ears, cause you still need to hear us. It's a teeny weeny beat. Have a bad hair day, but I don't have the time. Need to make it go away at the drop of a dime. I can't smooth it out, looks like a roll out of bed. I want a hat right now, I can put it on my head. It's a teeny weeny beeny. It's a teeny weeny beeny. If you don't got a comb, just put this in your dome. It's a teeny weeny beeny. Wear a teeny weeny beeny when I drink a dry martini. Yeah, I'm wearing a teeny weeny beeny while I get some better chini. Yeah, I'm wearing a teeny weeny beeny while I play a tambourini. Fun. You know what I'd wish for if I had a genie? No. What? A teeny weeny beeny. It's okay. Alright, we're gonna write it out. And I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna lay it out soon. Alright, uh, thank you all for being here. I'm gonna just check here who was here. Uh, Ellie Barrel, Metallic, uh, Tanya, Papa Wolf, uh, Dark Silver, David, Lord Pissero, there is some uh, Victoria, Victory, what's up, Just one. And I know Rose Ruby was here, but it's not on my list. So, anyone who I miss that's supposed to be here, that's not on my list, thank you also for being here, lurking, all those things. And I hope I see you on the other side of the Phoenix Zealand. Bye bye. <laughs> What's the number? I'm dead.